Hello and welcome! In this video, I will show you how I made this sunset cloud bag. Uh, it is made with 8 ounces of leather, uh, resin, and oil paint. I have oil painted all these clouds on this bag and I'm pretty fucking proud of it. Um, so let's start how I made this bag. The first thing I'm going to do is to get my leather and put gesso on it. Uh, gesso creates a surface that I can work on. And then what I'm going to do is connect all the back pieces together so I can uh, map out how the back uh, design, the clouds on the bag is going to come together. The edges of the clouds can match on the handbag. Uh, so I put it together with a bamboo, uh, whatever. Um, and then here you can see me mapping out how the clouds are going to sit on the bag before I flush out the edges of the clouds. And then I'm going to separate the negative and positive spaces so I can tell where the sky is going to be and where the clouds are going to be. As I'm mapping out the clouds, what I have in mind is to have a cohesive uh, structure in place so that I can paint. Uh, I'm setting up myself to have the best painted artwork that I can possibly produce and that's why I think taking the time to put down the cloud shapes is an important step along the way and this is how the bag looks once I'm done with the mapping phase. Uh, I was I was contemplating whether I should take the bag apart in order to start painting but I decided not to because I wanted to see so where I'm painting from my brain at this at this bag so I needed to see where the light source was coming from and depending on that I put the darkest clouds to the back of the bag and the lightest clouds to the front of the bag. Um, so the blue that I'm using is ultramarine blue mixed with some red and black and because you know sky color has red inside. Surprise. Um, and I'm, I'm just going into the old negative spaces and then I'm going to smooth out the paint because air is smooth, it doesn't really hold strokes. So I wanted to flatten it out. And then after that I'm going to go in and start putting in the sunset colors on the clouds. And the way that I'm doing it is I'm thinking about where the bulbous parts of the clouds are and where the reclining, receding parts of the clouds are and just putting in my colors from lighter to darker accordingly. Uh, I don't know if this is the correct way to paint clouds but I was doing some research and this seemed like something that I can pull off because I'm still doing my online art school and I'm learning how to paint uh, oil paint so I'm not an efficient painter but from uh, the past 10 months of doing my online art school I really learned how to use your reference image but also use the information that you know in order to create a comprehensive uh, flow in the artwork that I'm doing. And since I'm not painting on canvas, since I'm painting on leather, it's a different feeling. It doesn't, it's more slick so the paint just kind of rolls on the surface instead of sticking to the surface so it's a, it's a little different than working on a canvas, which I love doing but I gotta get used to how to do this and I'm still not that efficient at it but you know I have my whole life to get better at this I hope and um, yeah so this is the back side of the bag which have more darker clouds so you can see me going down the value chart and picking out colors that are much darker than the light surfaces uh, obviously because I want to create some realism but also have aspects of imagination mixed into it. And this is the part of the process where I take apart the bag so I can do the next process. Um, but taking apart the strings uh, deemed more challenging than I was hoping for because I, I didn't want to ruin what I've created and I also can't wait until this is dry because the uh, thread will just stick to the bag and then release. And release of the bag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that the nope, the bag is still not in pieces. And yeah, we're just going. I'm just going 
slowly taking apart the handbag so that I can paint the parts that the strings were at that I couldn't paint before. And this was a really fun, like this point of the of the bag, I was like, okay, this this might happen. This is gonna happen. This is the first uh, oil painted resin pour bag that I've made. And in here, I have mixed my resin uh, off camera, and you can see me pouring a very very light layer of resin on it. This is a very tricky part of the process uh, because you put too much, you're gonna crack. I'm gonna crack the resin. Uh, if I put too little, it's gonna seep into the leather and you're not gonna see it. It's not gonna be shiny. So, yeah, the process that doesn't take too long, but it's so integral and you can fuck it up so fast. And now I'm gonna move the hardware so that I can release it from the resin so the hardware can uh, fold out to the right and to the left. <clears throat> and there you go. I, yep. Mm -hmm. And then uh, in this bag, I've decided to put on eyelets. Obviously, this is not how you put an eyelet, but I can't hammer on my desk, so I'm not going to show you how I put the eyelets. I hammer everything on my bathroom floor because there's a marble slab, and that makes the least amount of sound. If I were to hammer anything, oh, the video's over. Okay, never mind. Um, bye. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.